Welcome back to NGN. I'm Julian. I'm here with Russell DeMaria, and he's going to talk to us today about Starfighter Inc. So I think the first thing that jumps to anybody's mind when we see a space fighter video game are the classics of X-Wing and TIE Fighter. So how do you think Starfighter Inc. is going to kind of meet or exceed such a revered pair of games? You could say that Starfighter Inc. is, is sort of the evolution from those games because mm -hmm. our lead designer was one of the des uh, level designers on uh, both X-Wing and TIE Fighter. David Westman, right? David Westman. And I actually wrote um, novellas for the pack-in for those both those games. So this new game, though, it looks to be more multiplayer focused, if I'm not mistaken. That's correct. And you as a story writer, how do you reconcile a multiplayer game with any sort of narrative. You're right. At its core, it is a battle-based multiplayer game where you have teams on either side. And so people will join up with those. They'll take contracts as mercenaries. You can fight for corporations, or you can fight independently. But as you fight, ultimately over time, we're going to be looking at the story changing. There will be uh, many, many battles leading up to bigger battles, and the bigger battles will involve more high stakes, and whichever side wins statistically, that's going to change the story. So it could be that we have a CEO who is fighting to squash some kind of information that's damaging to him. He's the head of a big, big corporation, but something in his past is coming back, and one of the enemies of his has gained access to that information and is about to ransom it. And they're transferring the particular object that contains the information and he's going to try to grab it back from them. So you have this space battle over it and depending on which side wins will affect where the story goes? Yeah, because if it gets out, he may lose his job and the stories are going to be complex and interwoven. There'll probably be more than one thread at once. So the narrative is going to be important, and then of course we're really, really focused on hard science. We're not going to have any hand wavium. We're not going to have any, there's no faster in light than light. There's no shields as such. If we have believe the technology is going to be developed within the next 200 years, we'll use it, especially if it enhances the game. Obviously as game designers, we look at it as fun is first. If it's not fun to play, it's not worth it. Yeah. It can be as, as technically accurate as you want, but if it's boring, it doesn't work. So we're going to try and make it exciting and difficult and devious and all the fun things that game designers like to do. I've noticed you guys also, in some of the footage of people playing it, you have a VR headsets on yeah. some of the fighter pilots. Is that something you're looking to incorporate as well? We are working on, right now we're working with Oculus uh, directly and we're developing some things for them and we're developing a VR version of the game and our early tests in it are very promising. So you guys had a, a Kickstarter before and you came just just shy of the goal if yeah. I recall yeah. and it's going to be up for crowdfunding once again so if this sounds like an agreeable witch's brew to you guys keep an eye out for the Kickstarter. Thank you so much for coming in and talking to us thank today. You. It's been a real pleasure, pleasure. Yeah. and thank you guys for tuning into NGN.